from the time period that the computer was put into service in January of 2010 through last semester. Um, that would identify the universe of people who would be potentially impacted by the theft. That would potentially be 6,300 students affected by a stolen laptop holding their full names and social security numbers. The laptop was used to generate and grade test. It was reported missing in April. We have an initiative in, in place right now called Secure Carolina. It's a $2 million system-wide initiative uh, and it's designed to improve information security across all of our campuses. Unable to discuss any leads about who may have stolen the laptop, Hickman says the university is moving away from using social security numbers to identify students. We'll move to what we call a VIP number, uh, which is essentially what you said. It's, it's a, it's a you know, unique number given to any faculty, staff, or student um, that identifies them internally, uh, but doesn't, doesn't put them at risk for, for identity theft. According to Hickman, there's no evidence of anyone's personal information getting out. He says that could be because the stolen laptop is password protected. All 6,300 students have been encouraged to contact all credit monitoring bureaus to put fraud alerts on their accounts. And every student that received a letter gets a, a, uh, an individualized toll-free number. If they have further questions, they can call that number, uh, get counseling and get guidance on how to proceed forward. Hickman says only students who received a letter are affected by the potential threat. In the studio, Tony Talley, Watch Fox News.